Oh. Holy. There we go. First fish of the day. What the heck is that? What is up, y'all? This video is gonna kind of be a little bit different here today. So I feel like I've been, you know, improving and making strides in this whole fishing thing. We're not quite at the Bassmaster Classics level yet, more like a Weenie Hut Classic. But the other day I had an idea. So there's this website called Fiverr. It's kind of like a freelancing website. This is completely non-sponsored, by the way. Basically, it's a website where people will help you or they'll do stuff for you. For example, if you want somebody to draw a picture of your cat, boom, Jay Kossar has got you $15. Now this might be really dumb, or this might be one of the best ideas I've ever had. So we're gonna go on here onto Fiverr looking for some assistance. I am going to try to find a coach to help me catch some fish. So yeah, pretty much I'm looking to hire a fishing coach on the internet. Not entirely sure if that's a thing, but if it is, I feel like it'd be kind of interesting to see, you know, like what they actually provide and see if they could actually help us catch some fish. So yeah, man, the goal is to get a coach, get some information or inspiration, whatever they're gonna give me, and then go out to the water and see if we actually you know, catch some fish. I have absolutely no clue what is about to happen, but let's get on Fiverr, man. Let's get this thing started here today. All right, without wasting any time here, I just went up, typed in coach. As you guys see, RuneScape coach, we have uh, Rainbow Six, a lot of video game coaches. Let me scroll down here. We got some life coaches. This is what I'm talking about. There's like a bunch of coaches on here. Not exactly sure what they provide. Uh, let me type in fishing coach. Uh, maybe it'd be called something else. Hold on, give me a second here. Whew, all right, y'all. So after looking around for a little bit, we have finally, I mean, this is pretty much what I was looking for. I will give advice on how to catch specific fish. Doesn't exactly say coach, but I mean, if it is, it, you know. Specific advice on where to use which bait and lures for one North American, $5 for the basic package. Now he has a couple different packages. Standard, we got premium. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna shoot this guy a message real quick. I don't know what to say, man. Hello, I'm trying to catch bass. Can you help? Oh, I guess a uh, message too short. So I already kind of have the spot in mind where we're gonna be filming this video today. It's definitely gonna be interesting. It's a place I never took you guys before. All right, message is sent. All right, y'all, it hasn't even been that long. He actually messaged me back, so let's see what he said, man. Just a quick recap. Hello, I'm trying to catch bass. Can you help? This is what he said. Hi there. Really excited for you to try and catch bass. Are you fishing for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass? We're actually going to be going for la oh, largemouth. Okay, very good. If you go ahead and purchase the package, what type of fish is what I said you want to Basically, I just read it. He said if you buy the package, he'll just send me a bunch of stuff to my email, like a bunch of information. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to say, let's do it, coach. Whether he knows it or not, he is my fishing coach here. Count on you tim i'm gonna order this real quick seven service fee two dollars that's come on fiber just like what information can we possibly get for some random fishing coach on the internet for five bucks so seven bucks this is gonna be interesting man all right y'all it's been a little bit he sent the file he said to me as an attachment through the gig purchase uh, yes sir thank you coach i'll remember you when i get to the Bassmaster classics man how could you forget where you came from fiber package fishing for like, oh my gosh. Hold on, is this straight from Google? Let's just take a look here at what he emailed me. First of all, yo, you know this dude Tim is probably so hyped that he just like sold like some random information on fishing. All right, let's see. If largemouth bass are the fish you were after. In order to catch them, you need to know what sort of the, well, I don't know if I can read all this, man. Let me just see real quick. If I highlight this and put this into Google, I'm gonna be a little triggered if you literally rip this off like Wikipedia or something. I don't know, let's just see here. You want to use surface lures and shallow water around the lily pads. All right, so that's, I think that's gonna be the main objective here today. He also says something like spinner baits and stuff, if that's not really working. I think we're gonna bring a few things that, I, I don't know if this document is gonna help us out or not. I mean, he did wish us good luck, but did, is that worth $7? You tell me. We're gonna try some of this stuff out here. We're, I, don't, I don't really know, man. Freaking $7, dude. Hey, I mean, it is all good. We're gonna go out there with the information that he gave us. We're gonna make Tim proud. Woo! Welcome to the swamps of Delaware. All right, it was pretty windy back there. But pretty much, guys, this is, I, I don't really know what you call this. It's kind of like a creek slash river slash like swampy area. I have actually never taken you guys here with me. I've only been here a handful of times over the past couple of years. But I mean, yeah, it's like a really, really cool area. As you guys can see, I mean, just pads, just wildlife, man. I've seen some pretty interesting stuff back here. And this water is cool because there's, there's so many different kinds of species in here. Oh my God, dude, this water is super clear today too. I've never seen it this clear. So just to list a few, there are actually snakeheads in here. Now it is like kind of, 
Like summer's kind of over. I don't know if like you can still catch snakeheads. I don't know too much about snakeheads, but if we caught one of those today, that would like, dude, that, that would be insane. All right, let me actually start off right here. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I mean, besides snakeheads, literally like any fish you could think of is in here. Largemouth bass, pickerel, like it's actually really crazy. So what I'm gonna start off throwing right here, just a little pocket frog. I got it from Maine. <sighs> I'm gonna be popping this along the surface here. Now the cool thing about today too, like we're coming here at the perfect time. It is like 4.30ish, like sunsets at 7.30ish, I think. I have never been to this spot at a good time. Every time I've ever came here, it's in the direct middle of the day in the summer. So now that we have like perfect timing, the sun's gonna be going down. These fish should be hitting the top of the water. This is just so cool, man. I, I really have not like, I don't know why I haven't gotten out here that much. I guess it's the whole kayak situation because I had a car. Now I have an actual vehicle where I should put the kayak on top, but I put it in the vehicle. I don't know. I mean, with the Forerunner, it's just so much easier to bring the kayak. Oh, this is so cool, man. All right, let's get like deep in here. Last time I was here was actually earlier this year. I went really deep. Game plan for today is try to cast as close to these weeds as possible. Just kind of the edge. Bring it back towards me. Come on, man. I'm in need of a good topwater bite. The one thing that does suck about this kayak, I felt it right there. It is a little bit windy. This thing really gets pushed around. It's like perfectly back there. Huh. Holy, what the heck was that? Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Literally just scared the freaking crap out of me. What the heck was that? It almost looked like it jumped from the freaking, oh my gosh. Whew, all right, well there's some action, yo. <laughs> I almost had a freaking heart attack. So I've been out here probably like 20-ish minutes, sort of. Yeah, quick update. My right leg is numb, so that's a thing. I don't know. It's really feeling like fall outside right now. I just really want to catch some fish on this frog, but maybe we'll have to read that email again and see what we should actually be throwing here if the frog isn't working. I'm telling you, though, that completely caught me off guard. Okay. cast it into these pockets as far as I can towards the bank. Like, look at that, that looks so freaking juicy right there. Oh my God, what the heck is that? Bro, what the heck is that? Something swimming up there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, directly in the middle of the waterway. Can't tell if that's like an otter, a freaking platypus. Oh, it might actually be a beaver. I did see a beaver dam. I actually heard the beavers are not the friendliest thing. I'm definitely in beaver territory. Sounds like one's just like, chomping his chompers and i don't hear anything yo it's like a freaking they make a scary movie about these things Whew. i mean beavers are pretty serious man hey man i don't care oh that's a big bird i don't care if i have to tussle with a beaver to snap by a snapping turtle i am going to catch a freaking fish today man i mean seriously what is my coach gonna think it gives me all that information come on frog all righty so for right this second Put on the spinner bait. I'm just gonna throw this thing around, man. Ah. See if there's any aggressive fish in here. Oh my god. Ha! Ah. Talk about scaring the freaking crap out of me. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that is definitely a beaver tail. I've uh, heard the beavers are actually like pretty territorial. So when you get close to their crap, they do like a tail smack. That was freaking terrifying. That was loud. Just imagine. It's so, so quiet, peaceful out here. Thinking you're out here all alone. I don't know where the heck Bucky went. Like, what do you do if a beaver like comes at you? Come on, spinnerbait. Oh God, I just got bit. You know, I feel like me and the beavers were kind of cool. 
I'm wondering if since I'm kind of casting this heavier lure now, it's kind of making a more sploosh in the water. I wonder if he thinks like that's me trying to square up. And he's just like bringing it right back. It's very interesting. So far, a lot of turtles I've seen out here. Some angry beavers. This looks kind of snaky. Definitely a tad bit spidery. I think we're gonna do this. This is where the fish are. And spiders. Now this is frog territory. We might be onto something here, yeah. Hmm. Let's go in. Probably like three and a half feet deep right here. I mean, dude, this looks actually really good. This is where I could see. Giant, largey, big old snake. Yep. Oh, holy! F oh, oh my God! Throw it back. Oh my God! I think that was a giant snake head. Oh my God! Oh my God, dude! I am freaking shaking right now. Whatever that was, that was massive. Oh my God! I don't know what that was. Usually, if that was a snake head. Be right back after. Oh no, man! What's the respawn time of a snakehead? Oh my gosh! There's got to be more in here, right? This is actually really beautiful back here. I'm trying to be quiet, not disturbed. Just wow! Ow. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! It's weird. Like over here, the water almost looks like sort of milky. Just threw the spinner bait around a little bit back here. No takers. Hopefully, I do not get lost back here. Check for spider webs. All right, stinks back here, man. There's a fish. Oh, <sighs> best fisherman ever, right here. This is why I need a coach. Definitely not as upset about that one. That wasn't like the best eat, so I don't know if that was a big fish or not. I don't know what kind of fish it was. Oh my God, that one. Oh, dude, I'm gonna have nightmares. What the heck is that, man? Sounds like there's a freaking monkey in this tree. <sighs> I'll tell you what, man, this is just how fishing goes sometimes. You really, I mean, honestly never know what the heck is gonna happen. Like I could pull up a freaking 10 pounder under this tree. Okay, you missed it. What is with these fish? Like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna wait. I waited on that. Like, what is good, man? Freaking fish. The crazy part too, I'm throwing like a small frog. It's not like I'm throwing giant Wonker Toad 6,000. It's just, it's just like a normal little frog. All right, the question is now, do we get over here and do we want to? Okay, I'm beached. Watch like the beavers put this here as a trap. All right, let's explore this other side real quick. Ooh, that's a mucky bottom. Let me just scare all the fish first. Oh, it doesn't even, hmm. Oh, there's gonna be some fish back here. It just looks so undisturbed. How many bites are we up to now? Four, five? You get four bites, no fish. Like, I wanna be frustrated, but it's just, it's like so peaceful out here. <laughs> all right, a few more back here in this cove. We're gonna go back to the river. Definitely let me know, like, is that a river, creek? What do you guys think? Yeah, no, yeah, that's right, yeah. All right, nope, yep, so it turns out, it's confirmed, I am the best fisherman. Just in case you had any doubts, Bassmaster Classic, here we come, all right. Sun is actually really going down. I don't know what time it is. I'm actually pretty far from my car, too. So, uh, we got a little maze going on here. This should be interesting. Get out me way. Currents picked up here. Good thing it's going in the direction I'm going. All right, 7 p.m. It gets like pretty much completely almost darkish at like 7:30 ish, 7:40. So we got some time, man. I'm gonna fish on the way back. Any anywhere it looks like really good and juicy. Hopefully we don't have to teach any beavers a lesson here. Oh, 
definitely the next kayak I get. I need one with like a rudder. Direction wise, there's just no steering on this thing. I'm just getting blowed around trying to fish. If there's any kayak companies out there watching it, holy freaking crap. Oh, count that to the list. Ah, just talking about freaking kayaks. I was like done with that cast too. I was reeling it back in. <laughs> freaking frog, man. Oh my gosh. Come on, come back for it. You won't. Okay. All right. I don't want to be that guy. I'm starting to think, man, maybe this frog might be a little cursed. Can't believe that thing hit it pretty close to the boat, too. Whatever that was, that was fast. Like, I barely saw it, and it just, like, shot away. I mean, yet again, that's pretty cool. But just, like, just one fish, man. Fishing gods, if you are listening, please, I'm already out $7. This is the cast right here. Right uh, over near these weeds. Oh, did he take it? How? What? My guy. I let him, unless these fish are just extremely like picky. They're just they're like, yo, no, that does not taste good to me. Spit it out right once it touches my mouth. Or they're just like a little special and they just can't get it in their mouth. I don't know which one it is. I felt like I wait. To, uh, that definitely, oh. So we cross paths again. Y'all can see that giant beaver right there. That is like the size of a freaking dog. Holy crap. All right, beaver. You're gonna have to chill. And he's gone under the water. I swear, I am not gonna take that. He comes over here and slaps me with his tail. That, I mean, that is just handing me a perfect catch and cook opportunity. Oh. Do I have a fish on? And he missed it. How does that make any sense? That was a giant fish. I saw him eat it. Oh my gosh. I am beyond confused right now. How, like what is going on? And where did this Houdini beaver go, man? I swear if he gets me one more time. I'm just in a interesting place right now. At least these fish are getting more active. Last thing we need, what the heck is that thing right there, man? Giant elephant poop. Last thing we need is to get like lost and pitch black darkness and come on these fish should be feeding right now look at that right in there <gasps> how are they freaking missing it I saw it come out from the weeds come on come back for it Is this like a prank? Okay. Again, he missed it. Oh my god! Okay, I don't think he felt the hook. I thought he had it. Have you guys ever seen somebody struggle so much to catch a fish? God! That's gotta be a snakehead though, right? Are you done or? There we go. First fish of the day. What the heck is that? Oh, dude, let's go. Let's freaking go, I knew it. Oh my gosh, I have not caught one of these guys in a long, long time. I think there's two over there. Oh, geez. All right, chill for two seconds, buddy. Oh my God, that's so worth the whole freaking day, man. I know this is not a bass. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking choked the frog. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna chill out for a second. Ah, okay. Frog is out. Just wanna get a good look at you, man. So slimy. Woo! All right, y'all. There we go. First fish of the day. Beautiful freaking snakehead, man. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't know if I'm at a good angle. Look at that. Like, not the biggest one I've ever caught. I've, that is actually my third one I've ever caught, too. So that is like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that teeth right there. Oh my gosh, man. There was another one with it too. I think that one was bigger. So we have a, yeah, I, I, I could cast a couple more times. The sun is going down. I'm kind of deep in here, but I'm gonna get a picture. All right, frog is still good. I'm gonna go back to that spot if I can remember. There was more than one wake. I don't know if that's like a family over there. Now, where was it? I think it was over there, right? Was it right here? I don't remember. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up, 
button, man. All right, we gotta start booking it. Now, I do see there's a beaver right there in the water. I saw him go under. Let's just spin the block real quick. Just got bit. It's another fish. Second fish of the day, what is this? Oh, come here, boy. Let's go, dude. All right, second fish of the day. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh, he's... <laughs> Fish in here are insane. Nice little, another little baby. Get him out of here. So that's the bass for today. So far, we got a snakehead, we got a bass, we got a sun that is, in fact, going down. Yeah, you go on that side of the road, I'll be. Oh! Ooh, all right, y'all. We paddle back, get back in the car. This is actually a lot of fun. The skeeters are starting to come out too, so I'm about to hit hyperspeed real quick. Whew, all right, y'all. Well, that is pretty much gonna do it here. That was so much fun going on that little creek, river, whatever the heck that was. I mean, we did it, man. I actually messaged the guy back. I sent him a picture of the snakehead that I caught. He never replied. But he's still, I mean, he's still my coach. I mean, in the document, he said in shallow waters with like lily pads and stuff, and it's warm out, you should throw some top water. So that's what we did. Switched to the spinner bait, which was also listed in there. But I mean, I really kind of struggled with actually hooking the fish. I, dude, that has to be a record for like the amount of times missed a fish. So even with the help of the fishy coach, we still might not be, you know. It is all good though, man. That was just so much fun. If you guys did enjoy this video again, man, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button it really really would mean a lot to me and also if you guys do enjoy my videos but you are not already make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell that'll pretty much you know make sure that youtube lets you know when i upload a new video big shout out to evan frey the comment winner from the last video if you guys want to be entered to win a shout out at the end of the next video all you gotta do man leave a comment down below and i'll be putting it through a random generator you could get a random shout out in the next video oh yeah man as always i just gotta thank each and every one of you guys for all the support it truly does mean the freaking world to me if you guys do want to keep up to date like as much as you can make sure to go follow me on instagram i'm trying to post a lot more on instagram so that's like a thing but yeah we got a lot of cool stuff coming on the channel man just stay tuned i'm having so much fun making these videos editing these videos going out and filming so again man thank you guys so much for all the support it truly does mean the freaking world to me all i gotta say is let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video you